Meghan Markle's appearance at St. Paul's Cathedral seemed to trigger a surprising reaction from Kate, Duchess of Cambridge. The two duchesses both attended the cathedral for a service of thanksgiving, hosted to honor the Queen's 70 years on the throne. Meghan Markle attracted attention as she arrived with Prince Harry wearing an all-white outfit. Twitter user V, at Meghan Mood, who runs the Sussex Set podcast, shared a clip of Kate turning around in the cathedral. Many Twitter users have claimed she can be seen saying wow after spotting the Sussexes. While it is unclear exactly what Kate was saying, one royal watcher, with the username at Liz Cake Emporium said, OMG did she say wow? Something is afoot. Ella Diaz, at Facts Pusher, agreed, writing, wow is right. This is what Kate was probably looking at. Harry and Meghan had their own procession. Woo. Another agreed adding, she clearly said wow. Sarah at Sarah Data underscore, wrote, No way? Is this looking at Meghan? Ogg. Melly Mel, at Melly Mel's Way, shared a picture of the Duchess of Sussex, writing, I wonder if this is what Kate was W.O. wing. User at want to be underscore Parisian said Kate's gesture was a respectful moment. Another, Janae Pink, at Nurse Mayfield, joked, I saw Meghan and said wow too but something tells me I didn't say it in the context Kate did. The cathedral service is the first time Meghan and Harry have attended an official engagement together since stepping back from royal duties in March 2020. It is also the first time Meghan and Kate have been seen in public together since the Duchess of Sussex accused her sister-in-law of making her cry. During her bombshell interview with Oprah Winfrey, which aired in March 2021, Meghan claimed that Kate had upset her in a spat over flower girl dresses. She said, It made me cry and it really hurt my feelings. And I thought in the context of everything else that was going on in those days leading to the wedding that it didn't make sense to not be just doing what everyone else was doing, which was try to be supportive, knowing what was going on with my dad and whatnot. She later said that Kate had owned it and had brought her flowers and a note to apologize. The Sussexes returned to the UK earlier this week to attend the Queen's Jubilee celebrations. Prince Charles showed a moment of warm affection towards Kate at St. Paul's Cathedral when he blew his daughter-in-law a kiss as they met. Once the Prince of Wales and Camilla had arrived for the service of Thanksgiving, the two met with William and Kate before they walked together to their seats. On previous occasions, Prince Charles has been seen greeting his daughter-in-law with a kiss on both cheeks, but cameras captured the sweet moment when the heir to the throne gently blew Kate a kiss, as they met. However, the Prince of Wales was not seen greeting or interacting with his other daughter-in-law Meghan Markle, after royal aides carefully managed the seating plan to keep Charles. Camilla and the Cambridges separate from the Sussexes. Harry and William have had a long-standing feud, while Harry has accused his father Charles of cutting him off financially and Meghan claimed an unnamed royal made a comment about Archie's skin tone before he was born, with the Sussexes having a war of words with the palace following last year's bombshell Oprah Winfrey interview. It was the first time Harry and Meghan, who now live in California, had been on full public view alongside the Windsors since they quit the monarchy for a new life in the U.S. two years ago.